Hey there friends, this is Muffin Sauce here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw dog expressions. I have done a cat expression tutorial which I will link in the description below and I haven't done one for dogs so let's explore the different type of expression we can give our doggy drawings and let's see what kind of goofy expression we can come up with. I'm using Procreate here. It may be called a Procreate tutorial. If you don't have a Procreate app, it's totally okay. You can also use paper and pen. For dog expression, I always start with a nose and then the muzzle. And this is a poker face dog. This is an upright ear. The poker face. And if you want to draw a dog that is um, with a tongue out, so you the same theory, then you just have the tongue. Draw the tongue. Okay, maybe this one has a different ear. It is like built. <laughs> if your dog is sorry, barking, can draw the muzzle this way, and the eyes, and let's give this dog long ears. This is like a spaniel maybe, and then to amplify noise, you just add line, bog, and a dog that is afraid. When a dog is afraid or terrified, they always have their ears down. And then you can add this way. This is like the front view. Me spooked. So just remember um, if you have a dog, you will understand uh, what, how they look like when they are afraid, when they are happy. And sometimes you feel that, or rather sometimes you find that the dog is smiling. So it can look like this. Or maybe when they're, when they're exhausted, they will smile like this. So this is like uh, happy perhaps? Happy doggo. And doggos can also look mega spooked. I've drawn spooked. How about mega shock? Mega shock, you can, uh, you can actually make it look very exaggerated by drawing the eyes differently. So the circles. muzzle here. So you have to draw this line for the muzzle and this is a uh, shook. <laughs> so it's a shook doggo. To draw an angry doggo, it's the same thing. Just give the eyes eyebrow. Dogs don't have eyebrows. Well some of them look like they might have eyebrows like the pincers or the doberman but they generally do not have eyebrows. But because we are drawing a cartoon comic version of a dog, you can always add eyebrows for them to, to exaggerate the expressions. And you upset dog. This is what upset dog. Maybe hangry. Angry is like angry because you are hungry or something like that, right? And also we have the very fierce doggo that I like prepared to bite. Stay away or I bite. And I like to draw it this way. At the ears. It's a doggy expression. This is girl, stay away. 
So these are some of the doggy expression that I've drawn. But what if you have a flat face doggo, like Pugs? So for Pugs, I also start with the nose. And usually they have mouth like this. And their eyes. I've done tutorials on how to draw Pugs. And as usual, um, this is a poker face, so you can draw it with or without the tongue and if it's angry, you just do it this way. And for pugs, right, if you want to have pugs of bulldog, they look super weird with the teeth. Actually, this can be a derpy look too. Or... You have the mouth open. It's like, Whoa. This is the mouth part with the mouth open. Bulldogs. You know there's some dogs if like naturally scared or afraid or just look plain worried. The wrinkles everywhere. So that's another look that you can explore. And if you want to draw it um, with a muzzle, you can always draw it this way. And I believe when he's looking that this way, the ear should be down. I'm curious, I'm not sure what is going on. It's a suspicious doggo. Does a dog love you so much? You want to exaggerate? Love with heart shaped eyes. Or maybe when he sees food that um, he's like super, super, super excited about. And this is what it looks like. Food, and then you can exaggerate the saliva coming out this way. So this is how you add droplets of saliva coming out or the dog drooling. And there's also the how to draw a dog that is drooling, other than the tongue out like this, or just plain drooling like this. And usually when they are drooling, right, their ears will be upright. Because they're looking at something like perhaps cake. This dog is looking at cake. Yeah. Usually I don't add the teeth unless uh, it makes it look derpy. Because sometimes adding sharp teeth will make it look a bit uh, fierce. And that's not how I want to portray the look of the dog. And if your dog is holding on to a bone, can always draw the bone here. Bone on newspaper, whatever he is holding. And this is what it looks like. Or oh, when the dog is happy. This is another happy dog. Happy derpy dog. Did I draw something like this? No, I didn't. Maybe for maybe for this one. How about dog sleeping? My dog sleeps like this. My dog is a corgi. So he sleeps this way and then he's like, his tongue is out and he sleeps. Happy till your eyes is closed type of happy. This is like... You can draw it this way. Or... You can have an inverted 
a U. So it's at the end or U. Then you see they are both very different expression. If you notice, this is like happy, contented, perhaps. Or it's like I'm happy to see my meal. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm. I just had food. I had enough for now, or something like this. You know. So you can tell a different story with like expressions. Like other than expression, you can use the hands to amplify how they are feeling. Like for girl, angry, right? You can use. You can draw hands. Oh wait, got black. You can draw this. Then you can draw like this. It's like, girl, I'm going to punch you or something. And then this dog is like, oh yeah, you middle finger. <laughs> okay, so this is how you don't, they don't really have fingers, but it's a comic, so you can draw anything. And then you have happy. So happy dogs, right? You can just draw them excited. Excited to maybe jumping on the humans for food. So you have the hands this way. So you shook. Shook, maybe you just like and if you're happy you can do this too holding on to your mouth looking happy and if this dog is like um, tapping on that dog's shoulder shoulder or it's like how are you so I just do it this way so the dog's like hey are you are you okay Sleeping, needless to say, is this way. And you know, exaggerate the dog going after the cake, just at hands. There is also the pretty please face. They draw the pretty please eyes. For dogs, like I said, okay, I draw the nose first, but I was thinking about the eyes. And then you draw it this way. Pretty please, the ears downwards, and you draw the hands this way, so the dog is saying, please, okay maybe don't have the line there, please give me that food, or you have a, a table with like perhaps a chicken drumstick, and the dog happened to be able to see it here. And then this is where you draw the eyes. Maybe the hands. So this is how you draw the dog is like excited to get it. Um, oh, if the dog happened to get it. So I'm going to draw it again. And then you can draw the nose first, and the mouth, the ears will be pulled back because his uh, muzzle is going upward so the ear should be back. Yeah. How it looks like. If he wants to reach for the chicken drumstick, but he couldn't. I think it applies to corgis and perhaps a lot of dogs who can't reach. Crying. You can just draw drops like this on the eye. Crying is same as sad. So for dogs with um, upright ears, it's very easy to exaggerate and show how sad they are by you know downwards or upwards. But if your dog is like a cocker spaniel, you only have can do it with the eyes. Yeah. And if they're happy they also look the same. <laughs> because their ears are just down, they will not go upright, it will not turn any direction. You know cats give you that look of like pretty please look. You can try for the dogs too. Perhaps puppies.
Let's do just do it this way. <laughs> I don't know why am I drawing here. This is a dog giving you a really sad face. This is sad. It's just he's just being weird. It's just a weird doggo. This is doggo being a weird doggo. Just the ears. This is a doggo being weird. Doggo sniffing the floor. Hey, if you, there are times when you use like big eyes to exaggerate your, to make it look very silly. And there are times to use like normal small dots for eyes. You see the effect of using this compared to the effects of using dot eyes is very different. Don't you think it's different? You like dot eyes and normal eyes and if you want him to be you can also add eyebrows or you can make him angry but I'm not gonna make this one angry but I'll prefer to use like um, big round eyes when necessary only my style is more of the dot eyes but I'm just giving you like different ways that you can used to draw. This is about it. This is like how to draw various different type of dog expressions. And if you enjoy this video, do click on the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to do more of these videos in times to come. Thank you and have a nice day and stay safe everyone. Bye!